Hello, my name is Andrew Powell. This is another demo using the Zabo board. Uh, this project basically follows after the last project where I was using the VGA display. Uh, in this project, the VGA is not being used, but instead I wrote a driver, a audio codec, and hardware for, uh, for the Zabo board. And basically made a project which consists of basically playing beats over the Zabo board. Uh, so without further ado, And that's basically it. Uh, there is actually an example design that Digitally provides. Uh, I tried my best not to refer to it. I did have to look at, look at it once uh, to realize that in order to use the audio codec to output uh, sound, you actually have to configure the I2C port. That really confused me since the, the Zybo guide sort of implies that, at least to me it implies that you don't need to configure it. Uh, I did a similar project using a uh, different FPGA board, and I used a PMOD where it used this a uh, it used the i2 the i2s interface, and it was similar where you could configure the registers using the i2c port, but you didn't have to to get sound going. For this, you definitely need to configure configure the registers to get any sound coming out. But everything else, I developed. Uh, there's still, I guess, there's still a few issues. For instance, uh, if the music is played too loud, I think it might be saturating, but you begin to hear a lot of static. And sometimes, if, if whenever I try to load from Flash, it screws up for some reason. But I'll work out. I'll work those issues out later. Um, the links down below. I'll post where I got those uh, beat samples from, since I want to credit the artist. Uh, as I tried to show during the song itself, here's what my design looks like. Sooner or later I'll post a small blog describing everything here, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, over here we have the audio codec, uh, and then we, the audio codec's what plays the sound, and it's actually getting the samples from memory, so it's connected to, through these AXI interconnects, it's connected to the processing system. And of course, we have uh, the LEDs and switch slide switches, and to use those, I use the AXI DPIO IP. But uh, I'll explain more when I put out the blog, which probably won't happen until probably another two weeks or so due to having a busy schedule. But uh, that concludes this video. Thank you.